Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca. Welcome or welcome back to my booktube channel. Today I am doing my bookshelf tour, so let's get started. This bit is basically on top of the bookshelf. It's right before the um, first shelf here. And I mainly keep a bunch of random sort of knickknacks, I guess you could say. I also have my bamboo plant here. I have a like forever rose. I have a light up letter R. I've got all of my amiibos here, mainly Animal Crossing. I have a little jewelry holder, a calendar, um, an Animal Crossing pin. I have an ocarina from all of the Legend of Zelda games, and I also have my bachelor's degree graduation cap because I like the way I did it with the Lorax. I think it's cute. I actually have a video on my main channel of making that cap, which I'm really glad I documented. I think this is the best I'm going to be able to do as far as angles go. I'm sorry if you can hear my cat playing with a ball in the background. He's having a lot of fun. Um, anyways, we have the Uglies series by Scott Westerfeld. Uglies, as I previously mentioned, this was the book that got me into reading. Pretties, specials, extras, bogus to bubbly, an insider's guide to the world of uglies. I actually have an arc of imposters that I found at a used bookstore, and I found it before the book came out, and I still have not read this because I really want to reread the entire series before I get to this, so maybe this will be in an upcoming video. Next I have what I believe is called the Water Song series, and they are by Amanda Hawking, Wake, Lullaby, Tidal, and Elegy. And then the final books in this first row are the Girl Online trilogy by Zoe Sugg. Girl Online, Girl Online on Tour, and Girl Online Going Solo. And that brings us to the back row. Pretty much all of these shelves are two layers deep. So we have Ready Player One by Ernest Klein, Save the Date and Never Bite a Boy on the First Date, both by Tamara Summers. And then I have quite a few Catherine Clark books. Icing on the Lake, Better Latte Than Never, Picture Perfect, Banana Splitsville, Main Squeeze, Rocky Road Trip, and So In Love. Next, I have quite a few of the books in the Dead Is series by Marlene Perez. I have Dead is So Last Year, Dead is a State of Mind, Dead is the New Black, Dead is Just a Rumor, Dead is Not an Option, and Dead is a Battlefield. Next I have the sequel to Life as We Knew It, and that is The Dead and the Gone by Susan Beth Pfeffer. I even reread Life as We Knew It last year, hoping to get to this book, and I still haven't read it yet. Good Ghouls Do by Julie Kenner. I Am Pushing the Cat by Claire Belton, and the last three books on this shelf are The Wake Trilogy by Lisa McMahon, Wake, Fade, and Gone. On to the second shelf. Here I keep some of my video game stuff as well. I have a Peach Squishy from one of the Animal Crossing collector's boxes. This is also where I keep all my duplicate amiibo cards and other trading cards. My 3DS XL. Two Animal Crossing notebooks. I also tend to keep my Nintendo Switch games here, so I have Animal Crossing, Paper Mario and the Origami King, and Story of Seasons. A giant Aries mug full of colored pencils. My Animal Crossing Wild World game that should probably be in a safer place than this. And now on to the actual books on the shelf. The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer and The Evolution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. What I believe is the entirety of the Fablehaven series. Fablehaven. Rise of the Evening Star. 
Grip of the Shadow Plague, Secrets of the Dragon Sanctuary, and Keys to the Demon Prison. And then the last three books on this shelf are the Inkart series by Cornelia Funk. Inkart, if you cannot tell, this book was well loved. I read this book in, I believe, eighth grade. I checked it out from the library so many times that I ended up getting my own copy and kind of destroying it a little bit, but I never got around to reading the rest of the trilogy, so I need to finally do that. Ink Spell and Ink Death. This next shelf is sort of a mix of random things. I mean, I guess all of them kind of are, but I feel like this one and the next two really truly are. I have this mug that my cousin made for me when she was in college. I have two of these old Bath & Body Works candle jars holding my Crayola Super Tips markers. And now on to the books. A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. I'm Dreaming of a Green Christmas. Murder on Mount Monadnock. Are you helping me, Jaspie? Are you helping, Jasper? Helping or hindering? Unwind by Neil Schusterman. Colony Lost by Chris Philbrook. And this one is signed to me and my boyfriend. Decade of the Wolf by Douglas W. Smith and Gary Ferguson. Connecticut's Seaside Ghosts by Donald Carter. My environmental nerd is really showing on this shelf. I have the National Audubon Society Field Guide to New England. Honey Baby Sweetheart by Deb Coletti. The Bermudez Triangle by Maureen Johnson. Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan. Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. The Alchemist and the Magician by Michael Scott. The Martian by Andy Weir. World War Z by Max Brooks. This Changes Everything, Capitalism vs. the Climate by Naomi Klein. And I had an old video discussing this, but some of the audio went silent for some reason, and I would just love to redo that with some new notes. So maybe if you're interested, I can do that. And the last book on this shelf is Pumpkin Heads by Rainbow Rowell. On to the next shelf. This is the second to last one on this shelf. We have, on top of everything, my master's degree, because this thing is a massive, and I don't know where to put it, so it uh, sits here. I have a bind up of Flowers in the Attic and Petals on the Wind by V.C. Andrews. As you can see, I got this on sale, I believe, when Borders was going out of business, so that's how long it's been. Next, I have another bind up, and that is the Daughters of the Moon series, the first three, Goddess of the Night, Into the Cold Fire, and Nightshade by Lynn Ewing. Not sure if I'm saying that right. Once in a Full Moon by Ellen Schreber. Unearthly and Boundless by Cynthia Hand. No, I don't have the second book in this series because these were the only two on the bargain bin. <laughs> Kathy's book and Kathy's ring. And what's really cool about these is it actually comes with all this like evidence to go along with the book. So it's like pictures and little notes and stuff. And this one actually did come with a little ring, but I'm not sure where that went. And I believe this is a poster. And it's also got little illustrations throughout these books, which I just think it's fun. Frost by Marianne Baer. The 100 by Cass Morgan. Red Rising by Pierce Brown. Passenger by Alexandra Bracken. On to the back row. I think this is another series that I'm missing the second book to, but I have My Soul to Take, My Soul to Keep, and My Soul to Steal by Rachel Vincent. The Hufflepuff edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone by J.K. Rowling. It's the one with the sprayed edges. Juniper Lemon's Happiness Index by Julie Israel. 
A bind-up of Kissed by an Angel, The Power of Love, and Soulmates by Elizabeth Chandler. I also have the fourth book in the series, which is Evercrossed. This book looks like I stole it from a library, but I promise I didn't. It was at a library book sale, and that is The Science of Jurassic Park and the Lost World, or How to Build a Dinosaur by Rob DeSally and David Lindley. The Diviners by Libba Bray. Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Rhymes with Witches by Lauren Miracle, Across the Universe by Beth Revis, and can we take a moment to just acknowledge the fact that this series had the worst cover change in, like, YA book history? And the last book on this shelf is The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, book one. And this last shelf is mainly like magazines and cookbooks and some sort of DIY type books. I have both Reputation magazines that included the CD. I also have this sort of like picture book called Seeing Red, Taylor Swift. I am so excited for her to be re-releasing Red. Folklore and Evermore were great, but they were really not my style as far as music goes and I'm so looking forward to her re-recordings. I have a children's book, and that is The Lobster Lady by Vivian Volivar, and she did sign this for me. She said, always follow your dreams. I have The Amazing Book is Not on Fire, and Dan and Phil Go Outside, both by Dan and Phil, who are YouTubers, if you don't know. I have The Nerdy Nummies Cookbook, and... Baking All Year Round by Rosanna Pansino, another YouTuber. I have some Crock-Pot cookbooks. These are actually my boyfriend's. A Year's Worth of National Geographic magazines. The Ultimate Crochet Bible. A few coloring books. And then just two notebooks from school. And that is everything on this bookshelf, so we shall move on to the other shelf. This is the second shelf. The only cubes that belong to me specifically are the top three, so those are the only three I will go over. But I will give you a brief overview of the top here. On top we have the printer and its ink. We have some little figurines, some stuff from when we went to Universal, Baby Yoda, I know his name's Grogu, don't come for me, and I have my collection of Death Note mangas back there. Okay, I think this is as good of an angle as I am going to be able to get. So on my first shelf, I have my collection of John Green books. I do also have the Anthropocene reviewed, but that is sitting by my bed right now, and I don't necessarily feel like going to grab that. And while I'm saying what books I have by my bed, I might as well mention that I also have Better Together by Christine Riccio, You Will Get Through This Night by Dan Howell, and Salem's Lot by Stephen King, all sitting in there as well. But anyways, on to the bookshelf. There's this rubber duck that we got when we went on vacation at some point. I have my Pressed Pennies collection. These are all from Universal Studios when I took a spring break trip. And then these ones are the Project for Awesome pennies. I am missing 2015, 2016, and 2017. So if anybody is willing to... Uh, sell me their pressed pennies, hit me up. If you cannot tell, my favorite book is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, so I have several copies of this book. I have the audiobook set that was read by John Green himself. I have a signed first edition with a green J scribble. I have the Barnes and Noble exclusive edition, and I also have the Project for Awesome exclusive edition. This one is not signed, but it is gorgeous with this green metallic cover. And then I have the other John Green books. 
hurdles all the way down, paper towns, let it snow, an abundance of Catherine, looking for Alaska, and then I also have the book that John Green's wife wrote, You Are an Artist, Assignments to Spark Creation by Sarah Urist Green, and I thoroughly enjoyed this book. I want to go through and do like all of the prompts. And then back in this second row, I also have John Green's brother, Hank Green's books, An Absolutely Remarkable Thing, and A Beautifully Foolish Endeavor. Now on to books that were not written by Vlogbrothers and their relatives. Wolf by Wolf and Blood for Blood by Ryan Grodden. Highly recommend both of these books. And then I have Anna and the French Kiss, Lola and the Boy Next Door, and Isla and the Happily Ever After, all by Stephanie Perkins. Again, but better by Christine Riccio. Matched, Crossed, and Reached by Ali Condi. And lastly, I have the Divergent series by Veronica Roth. Divergent, the Collector's Edition of Insurgent, and Allegiant. I also have the companion novellas called Four, and I have this little booklet that came with the box set of the Divergent series, and it is the world of Veronica Roth's Divergent series. This shelf is truly a bit of a mess, but let's go through it. To start, we have my Reading Rush Campers mug that just has a bunch of bookmarks and markers, highlighters, pens random stuff in it. I have really important stuff my cat has taught me by Cynthia Copeland. I have four bad kitty books. Bad kitty gets a bath. Bad kitty meets the baby. Bad kitty versus Uncle Murray. And happy birthday bad kitty. The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld, White Fragility, Why It's So Hard for White People to Talk About Racism by Robin D'Angelo, Otherworld by Jason Siegel and Kirsten Miller, Raised by Wolves, Trial by Fire, and Taken by Storm by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, We Should Hang Out Sometime by Josh Sunquist, Kalahari, The Forbidden Wish, Vitro, and Origin, all by Jessica Corey, on to the Back Row, Oryx and Crake by Margaret Atwood, Peeps and the Last Days by Scott Westerfeld, Switched, Torn, and Ascend by Amanda Hawking, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, Hollow City, and Library of Souls by Ransom Riggs, Peaches, and The Secrets of Peaches by Jody Lynn Anderson. And lastly, for this shelf, I have the first three books in the Selection series, The Selection, The Elite, and The One by Kira Cass. And finally, we have made it to the last shelf. I have a Rubik's Cube, this little strawberry cow from Story of Seasons, and I have this Totoro pencil holder that's holding a bunch of random things. I also have a digital Polaroid camera. I have this fake book that holds a bunch of little sewing supplies. I have some Taylor Swift vinyls. I have the Lover vinyl. This is my favorite album of hers. I also have Folklore and Evermore. I have her signed Folklore album as well as Evermore. I also have a copy of her signed album that I need to give my friend. I also got the Folklore cassette. This shelf is mainly Cassandra Clare, however I do have two out of the three Tea Dragon Society books. The Tea Dragon Society and The Tea Dragon Festival by Katie O'Neill. I highly recommend both of these little graphic novels. I also have my Reading Rush journal from 2020. I'm not sure if they're doing anything this year because of all the controversy that happened last year, but I do still have this. And now on to my Cassandra Clare books. Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess, City of Bones, 
City of Ashes, and City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, City of Heavenly Fire, and lastly, the Shadow Hunters Codex. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!